Will Poulter used a classic bodybuilding technique to completely transform himself to play Adam Warlock in the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy 3, but it wasn't an easy road, and the young actor ran into some serious problems along the way. I'm Paris Demers, a personal trainer with over a decade of experience in the gym, and in this video, I'll be breaking down what Will did to get so ripped. I'll be giving you a strategy to overcome the same type of issues that he ran into. I'll be talking about his steroid use, and I'll be giving you a full, free dumbbell training plan based off of his style of training so you can build a great physique yourself. People really started to take notice of Will's developing physique in the 2021 miniseries Dope Sick. You can see here in these shirtless scenes that Will's physique has improved big time from when we saw him in 2014's Maze Runner or 2019's Midsummer. The rapid transformation naturally has a lot of people suspicious that Will had the help of steroids to expedite his results. And I can definitely understand this and I've been a little suspicious myself especially after I read a particular quote from an interview that Will had with The Independent. But more on that later, let's talk about what Will did to bulk up. Here's a quote from Will talking about his training and his diet. It's been a lot of gym work and a very, very specific diet. It means not particularly civilized at times. Quantities of food you wouldn't necessarily want to ingest, and other times not enough food. I've gone through a series of diets over the last few months. Now I'm in a maintenance phase, which is quite nice. I'm not eating copious amounts of food to bulk and I'm not cutting. I'm just maintaining my weight. I've gone through periods of looking at food and feeling like I can't face it, and then you blink and the next minute you're ready to eat furniture because you're so hungry. So as you can tell, Will went through a classic bulk and cut, the same bodybuilding process most actors go through to prep for their roles. For those of you who don't know, bulking and cutting is a pretty simple process. During the bulk, the goal is to put on a bunch of weight. Some of that weight is going to be muscle, some of that weight is going to be fat. And then during the cut, you just shut off all the fat so only the muscle remains. If you guys are liking the breakdown and you want me to do a video on how Brad Pitt got ripped for Fight Club next, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment Fight Club down below. But the key thing to keep in mind with Will's bulk, especially if we're speculating on whether or not he used steroids during this process, he didn't bulk up overnight. Believe it or not, he was 20 and we're the Millers. And you can see he's been steadily gaining weight over the years. And while bulking doesn't need to take years, you need to realize that the body is only capable of putting on muscle mass so quickly, especially if you're natural. So if you try to expedite the process and try to bulk up by simply eating as much as possible, this will lead to a disappointingly high amount of fat gain, which you'll need to cut off in the future. Now this point about only being able to put on muscle so quickly is backed up by this study from Garth and colleagues, where they show that when they overfed athletes who are on a four day a week resistance training routine by on average 600 extra calories a day, they didn't gain significantly more muscle mass than the other group that was on a more modest calorie surplus. But the group that was overfed by 600 calories a day did gain over three times the fat mass of the lower surplus group. So you can't strong arm your body into gaining muscle faster than your genetics will allow. So if you wanna get big like Will, it's gonna it takes some time, but how fast can the average person bulk up? Well, if you're new to weight training, you'll want to aim to gain about 0.5% of your overall body mass per week. And if you've been training consistently for anything longer than a year or two, then that number will look more like 0.25%. This will help to make sure that you're minimizing the amount of fat that you gain while maximizing the amount of muscle that you gain. And these numbers are taken from this paper here, which has a ton of great diet advice for people who are looking to build muscle. I'll leave a link to it down below if you want to check it out. Now in classic Marvel fashion, Will has stayed pretty tight-lipped about the exact training routine that he was on for the role of Adam Warlock. But if you ask me, it's pretty obvious he followed a bodybuilding focus plan, judging by the sheer amount of muscle mass he packed on. So that entails heavy compound movements like bench press, rows, squats, with plenty of isolation work, like bicep curls, leg extensions, and lateral raises. Now this might just be Will's natural physique, but his arms and shoulders definitely look way overdeveloped compared to things like his chest. But maybe this is on purpose and Adam Warlock is going to have some kind of sleeveless costume. So they wanted Will to really bulk up his arms because that's going to be the focus. But unless you're going to be starring in your own superhero flick, you'll want to make sure to work your whole body evenly, especially when you're first starting out in the gym. So to help out, I'll be giving you a full free bodybuilding program that you can follow at the end of the video. Also, some muscle groups being overdeveloped versus others can actually be a sign of steroid use because of the high amount of androgen receptors in muscle groups like your delts and trap. Now on to what everyone in the YouTube fitness world has been talking about. Did Will Poulter take steroids for his transformation? People are are always speculating on whether or not a specific celebrity is natural. But if you want a way to enhance the look of your physique naturally, then you gotta check out my partners over at SuperX. They make the world's highest quality and most badass superhero themed workout apparel. You can think of them as Lululemon meets Marvel. They have designs based off of all your favorite superheroes, so you can be sure to find an outfit that fits your style. They've got hundreds of thousands of customers across the globe with thousands of five-star reviews, so you know this is some good stuff. 
I've been working out in my Super X gear for months now, and I've been loving it. Not only is it super comfortable, but thanks to its form-fitting design, it makes me look 100% more jacked. Now go get yourself your own super suit by clicking the link in my description. That'll take you to www.superx.co, and then you can use promo code DEMERS for 20% off your first order. Make sure to go check them out when the video is over. Now back to it. So when we're trying to figure out if someone took steroids for a given transformation, there's two big factors that we need to look at. How fast did this person gain muscle, and does their final physique look naturally attainable. So Dope Sick was filmed in winter 2020, and by the looks of how fluffy Will is in the show, it seems he's right in the middle of his bulk for Guardians 3, which was shot in winter 2021, so a year later. And before Dope Sick, the last big movie that Will was in was Midsummer. You can see that in Midsummer he's substantially smaller than he is in Dope Sick. And Midsummer was filmed in 2018, so assuming Will started training hard right after filming for that movie rap, he had two years to put on a pretty substantial amount of mass. But especially if you're new to training, or haven't used a serious diet and training plan before, newbie gains will take you pretty far in two years. Newbie gains is a phenomenon where your body adapts much more quickly to a given stimulus in the gym when it's novel to you and you haven't been exposed to it before. So that's a fancy way of saying you'll put on muscle much faster in your first two years of lifting than in any subsequent years. So I was on the fence on whether or not Will did steroids for this transformation until I came upon this quote from his interview with The Independent. Here's the quote. The most important thing is that your mental and physical health has to be number one and the aesthetic goals have to be secondary. Otherwise, you end up promoting something that is unhealthy healthy and unrealistic if you don't have the financial backing of a studio paying for your meals and training. I'm in a very privileged position in that respect, and I wouldn't recommend anyone do what I did to get ready for that job. So first of all, I 100% agree that you should always put your mental and physical health first before any aesthetic goals. But then he goes on to say that you're promoting something unhealthy and unrealistic if you don't have the financial backing of a studio to do what he did. This struck me as kind of a bit of a weird comment because it's not like his physique is anything crazy. I mean, he looks really good, but it's not like he's gonna win any bodybuilding competitions. So it strikes me as a bit off to say that it's unhealthy and unrealistic to achieve what he did without the backing of a billion dollar studio. Seeing as I know multiple 19 year olds who go to the YMCA and look as big as Will and those kids live with their parents who I'm pretty sure aren't paying for a private chef or personal trainer for their kid. So I think if you take what he said at face value, it doesn't really make any sense. But what I think might be happening here is that Will did use steroids for his transformation, and this is his way of warning people not to do the same. This quote reminds me of a very similar one from Zac Efron about his Baywatch transformation, which I'm almost 100% certain that he took steroids for. He said this about his physique for that movie. That's just too big. For guys, that's unrealistic, I'm telling you. I got very big and buff for that movie and I don't want people to think that it's the best way to be. Like, be your size. I don't want to glamorize this. That really sounds like a guy who is guilty about taking steroids because he knows how many people will be looking up to him for his transformation. And I think that could be the same thing that's happening with Will. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Was Will natty for his transformation, or did he have a little bit of that Marvel Studios magic? Now here's the workout program that I designed for you guys who want to bulk up like Will Poulter, but you're new to the gym. It's a three day week full body program that can be performed only with dumbbells. Make sure to choose weights for each movement that provides a good challenge and only leaves you with one to three good reps left in the tank at the end of each set. And also increase your weights over time. Now, if building muscle is your goal, go check out my video on Arnold's top bodybuilding tips and I'll see you there.